What's up, buggers? Today we're going to be playing some Lockjaw because of the new location, Quantum Tunnel. But before we get into that, if you want to be a fugger, subscribe to my channel down below, drop a like, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content which I release every week. It's absolutely free and painless to do so and you can always unsubscribe later if you decide you don't like my content, so please, every single one of you helps so much. So the new location Quantum Tunnel just came out, and it's basically a free Lockjaw for your deck if you're trying to play a Lockjaw deck, because what it does is whenever you play a card into that location, it swaps it with another card from your deck. Now, I don't need to tell you how good that's going to be in a Lockjaw deck, because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just get to cheat so much value by playing your Wasp and your early drops into that Quantum Tunnel, and you also get to play Lockjaw into another lane if you get the opportunity to get some really insane value. It's really good, it's popping off right now, and it should be good for some cubes. So let's get into it. Oh no, Subterranea is about the worst location for the stuck. Gamma Lab's nice though, we hit the rock so we get to uh, throw a couple things into Gamma Lab. And this is an actual movement deck, so I feel like... I feel like we have the advantage a lot of the time. And we can Jubilee into Subterranea, which is really nice. And next turn we get a Leech because of Superflow. I, I guess we would have gotten it either way. Um, yeah, I think I'm still playing Leech now. Even though I could play the Magneto. I'm not feeling super confident here, to be honest, but let's go for it. Oh, I forgot that was gonna pull Doctor Strange. Alright, Crimson Cosmos is kind of restrictive for our deck. Makes our lockjaw harder. I think we hold Sunspot actually in case of Quantum Tunnel. Okay, Tinker's Workshop's good. We play uh, lockjaw then. Hopefully, we draw an Mbaku or a Wasp next turn. Ooh. That's pretty scary. It's a negative then? He's probably missed negative, it looks like, though. Yeah, he didn't play Psylocke or Zabu there, so... He might get it on four, but... It's not gonna be that strong then. We might win here. <laughs> Okay, Sunspot on Limbo is fine. Next turn we're definitely playing Leech. 
I think I should have snapped, actually. Do I play into Crimson Cosmos? Oh. They retreat. Alright, I'm gonna take a little break to upgrade some cards real quick. Lockjaw could use an upgrade. Oh, Brood. I haven't upgraded that at all, like, pretty much. Animated. I could do Juggernaut. That's a good one. Let's go. Animated nice. Play. Alright, what's in the box? An avatar. Alright, what have we got here? Avengers Compound. That's interesting. We have a Vision, so we can play on a different lane with Vision on 5. So, that's not a huge deal for us, I guess. Alright, Mojo World. Wave is pretty nice to see. I think we're gonna keep holding Wasp. I was tempted to throw it on Mo- I was tempted to throw it on Mojo World, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to Wave, for sure. Doctor Doom is always good. Invisible Woman on Wave is pretty weak, so that's nice. So they must have, um... They must have Modok into Hela. So we play, we play Leech here, we hit their Hela, and they lose, as far as I can tell. Let's go. Oh, we might lose here. Oh wait, we have M'Baku. I forgot about that. Come on, M'Baku, hit Avengers Compound. Come on, let's go, M'Baku. No! All right, Monster Metropolis. There's the quantum tunnel, let's go. Wasp in the quantum tunnel. This is pretty epic. Okay, Chavez is pretty average. Hala. Mmm, I think I play wave. I think I like wave in the quantum tunnel. Maybe hit a leech or an infinite. Most of my hits are actually terrible. Maybe I shouldn't have played into Quantum Tunnel. I didn't realize all of my good cards are in my hand right now. Besides infinite and leech. Oh, there's Infinite. Hey, and there's Leech. I don't know how good Leech actually would be here, though, but... Let's play it anyway, I guess. I don't know if there's anything I'm trying to Leech, though. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. The Kazar Blue Marvel is pretty tough. No way! What? Can we win here? Wait, hold on. No, we can't. Wow. Even with Magneto, we don't win on- Wait, we do! We take away his three from the Monster Metropolis bonus. Let's go! We got it! No! Wait, do we still win? Maybe we still win. Yes! Let's go! Hell yeah! Alright, let's see what we got here. Hello! How are you doing today? We got a quantum tunnel on one. That's nice. With M'Baku in hand? Let's go. Let's just see what we get. Come on. Oh, they got a wasp too, huh? Wave? Nothing for either of us on turn two then. Ooh, Doctor Doom. Nice. Oh, right, I forgot that wave got summoned during the turn, so it's actually turn two or three, isn't it? I think I snap, actually, then. This Dr. Doom hit was so good, and they just locked themselves out of playing for two turns. So I'm just ahead for two more turns. They don't get to catch up. Oh, I guess I was wrong. I thought it lasted two turns. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think I play Jubilee into Kelm. I think that's right. Do I... They play Infinite, so I definitely don't play Leech. Oh my god. Well, I guess we're playing Infinite because uh, we need to ramp that Sunspot to win mid. But that should be good, so whatever. Let's let's play Infinite on Monster Metropolis. That should be good. That should work. Yeah. That's a plan, okay. I like it. Okay, She-Hulk. I like the plan a little less now. They need to play into Quantum Tunnel, though, to beat us, so I guess... No, I guess this is still good. This is still a good play, I think. Because they can't just win by winning Metropolis. They have to win Quantum Tunnel or Kiln also. I think we've got this. I don't think they can do this. Yeah, let's go. Victor. All right, Dream Dimension's not my favorite, but it's all right. Lockjaw and Wasp is really nice. Maybe we also see a Quantum Tunnel, that would be really good. Okay, Big House, that's a good spot for Lockjaw. We have a Jubilee follow-up, that's really nice. The opponent plays a Swarm. That is interesting. Considering most swarm decks now play Moda. So you will almost always want to keep swarm in hand. I don't see why you would play it. But I guess the opponent knows something I don't. Wait, they're playing Nakia in their deck too? Isn't that to buff swarm? Oh, Wasp, really? I'm gonna play Wave. So I can play Doctor Doom next turn. Wait, Doctor Doom's actually not even that good unless we hit Vision with the M'Baku. I didn't even think about that. 
Okay, we hit vision with the Mbaku, though. Let's go. Alright. I think we're winning this. Yeah, I think this should be a win. Like, every time. Yeah, let's go with that. That should be good. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I'm Baku! It's okay, I probably still win. Yep, there we go. Nice. Victory. Alright. Lockjaw in hand is nice. Let's hope we see a wasp or a M'Baku soon. Camartage. That could be good for a Doctor Doom or a Jubilee. Psylocke. Mmm, that's pretty scary. Quantum Tunnel. I think we play Lockjaw on Comartage. I am Iron Man. Iron Man, huh? That's spooky. I think we play Jubilee into do we play Jubilee into Quantum Tunnel? Or do we play it into Kamartage? Because if we hit the Doctor Doom with it. Oh my god. I am Iron Man. Well, that's gross. I think we play Leech in the Quantum Tunnel. That's what I think. Huh. How much can we add? We add 6 mid, so we go up to 15. They would need to add seven power to beat us. Yeah, I think they beat us here. Yeah, I don't think we're winning here. Well, guys, that was some Lockjaw. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to subscribe to my channel. Drop a like and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new content which I release every single week. Stay safe everyone. Peace.